All right, uh, special guest today, one of the greatest quarterbacks and most important historic figures in the history of the NFL, Joe Namath. It's a privilege to have you on. Hey, Greg, how you doing, buddy? I I'm doing fantastic, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to cover a lot of ground, so I'm going to hit you with a few questions here. It looks like the lockout may end soon. Talk about how this might delay or affect teams in terms of preparation. Well, you know, it's going to affect certainly the younger players coming in, the first-year players and. We certainly don't know about the free agent situation, including the team that I pull for uh, the most in pro ball, and that's the Jets. I think we kind of so, knew that, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, in fact, I've heard some uh, rumors that uh, some other people are interested in Santana Holmes, you know, and Santonio Holmes, rather. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, a lot of these teams are – are unsure of what lies ahead of them and and the younger players will pay a price for uh the time that they didn't get to study the programs do you, the do you playbooks think, the personalities do you think it favors offense or defense or are they equally uh, impaired defense is always favored early on okay uh defense is easier than offense uh I, you know defensive players may disagree but offensive football is a bit more complicated mentally and uh, the defenses normally have the upper hand in training camp and early on. Hey Joe, we're in a little place called Delaware. We've got a franchise to the north of us and a franchise to the south of us. Both of them have pretty good quarterback stories. Why don't you talk a little bit about Michael Vick and the Eagles? Well, I think the country knows Michael Vick's story. Uh, before Michael uh, uh, fouled up, uh, he was the most exciting player that I had seen uh, on the field. I say exciting. I didn't say the best. I said the most exciting. Right, right. And uh, he still brings that uh, element of electric electricity excitement there. I love to watch him play. He's improved uh, big time as a player, and he's learned his lessons, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he does this year. You know, uh, Greg, the, 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 the one thing uh, about Michael is the same for everyone else, but Michael, uh, he runs that ball upfield more than most quarterbacks. Right. And uh, his body, uh, well, first of all, there's not a player out there whose body was designed for the sport. Right. You know, football is a great sport, but it's very physical. So uh, every game, you kind of hold your breath to see if Michael's going to survive. Absolutely. Uh, if he can stay healthy, uh, he's uh, he's awful difficult to contend with, and the Eagles would become a quick favorite. Now, to the south of us, we have the Baltimore Ravens with Delaware product Joe Flacco at at their helm. What do you think of Joe Flacco? I think he's one of the best in the game. I I, I do. Uh, feel that he's been blessed with a good team to play with since he's come into the league, and that's advantageous for any quarterback. But I love his demeanor. Uh, I love his physical presence out there and the way he executes. And Ozzie Newsom happens to be uh, an Alabama Crimson Tider. And uh, <laughs> when I talk with Ozzy, I I'm really happy to hear what he has to say about Joe Flacco. So I'm on that guy's side as a quarterback. Talk a little bit about the prospects for Alabama and, and the Jets if in the last uh, minute here. Well, for the Jets, you know, they, they've uh, been to the two championship games the last two seasons in a row. But, hey, every week the other side can win. Uh, I don't think there are any guarantees uh, who's going to be there at the end of the season. Uh, the Jets will be in the hunt. Sanchez has come on strong. He's done things for a young quarterback that hasn't been done before as far as getting to the playoffs and winning. So the Jets are going to be in the hunt. Rex Ryan's a, a fine coach. The players love him. Uh, as long as you keep winning, things are fine. And in, and in, a, in a quick sentence, how about, how about Alabama? Roll, Tide, roll. That's, that's a quick <laughs> sentence right there, buddy. Joe Namath. <laughs> Joe Namath, historic icon, absolute honor, privilege to have you on the show. We might try and get him back here for another segment here. We'll see if that works out or not. But, Joe, thank you so much for joining us. It's a privilege. Oh, I enjoyed it, Greg. Thank you. Thank you.